today. Alessandro Battaglia says he's come to Vatican City to put a face to sex abuse in the Roman Catholic Church. He was assaulted by his parish priest near Milan when he was 15 years old. I had been going to church since I was a kid. I was a boy scout. I sang in a choir. The church was my life. Now I'm here because my priest, who was my confessor and my friend, tried to ruin my life. After he was abused, Alessandro tried to commit suicide several times. He says at first his abuser wasn't prosecuted, but instead moved to another church. When you drive someone to the point of trying to commit suicide, you are a monster. The fact that the Catholic Church allows all of that and the fact that they run a systematic cover-up of it is not acceptable. The issues of accountability and cover-ups were the themes of day two of the Vatican meeting. Cardinals addressing the gathering said the church must repair the systematic failures that have enabled sexual abuse to continue with impunity and it must cooperate with civil law enforcement. The sexual abuse of minors and other vulnerable people not only breaks divine and ecclesiastical law, but it's also public criminal behavior. The church does not live in an isolated world of its own making. Church lives in the world and with the world. The summit has now reached its midpoint and for the most part the sentiment coming from the Vatican has hit the right note. But there are still some survivors who are concerned that the sincerity and the will to follow through after the meeting could still be lacking. I don't trust the church because they've shown me so many times that they are more criminal than anything else. There's nothing new. They're just talking, talking, talking. And frustrations for the survivors have been intensified by the fact they've not been invited to the formal summit. Instead, they've had to steal moments with bishops outside the Vatican. I want to say that, that, uh, that you are here organising, I think, a very important uh, meeting and that you are together is also uh, important for the, for the world and for the church. And while those individuals have offered a sympathetic ear, the victims of abuse say they want a lot more. Sarah Morris, TRT World, Vatican City.